Jupyter Hub provides a shared platform for running notebooks that are popular in business, education, and research. Jupyter Hub promotes interactive computing where users can execute code, visualize results, and work together. In the field of generative AI, Jupyter Hub accelerates the experimentation process, especially in the feedback loop. It is also where data engineers, data scientists, and artificial intelligence engineers can collaborate on models for prompt engineering. If you're looking to deploy Jupyter Notebook in your own environment where your data scientists and machine learning experts can collaborate with each other, then you should deploy Jupyter Hub. And if you are looking for scalability and flexibility, then I would suggest you deploy Jupyter Hub on Kubernetes. You can definitely deploy Jupyter Hub on any other container orchestration platform in the cloud or on the on-prem, but I would suggest that deploying it on Kubernetes gives you a lot of flexibility. In this video, I'm also going to walk you through a few of the steps you can do to install Jupyter Hub on your own Kubernetes clusters. So let me show you the steps. These steps are from Jupyter Hub's own website and I will drop the link in video's description. So in order to install the Jupyter Hub, you need few things. First, you should have a running Kubernetes cluster and HEM installed. I would suggest that you go with any cloud provider's managed Kubernetes service such as EKS in AWS or GKE in Google Cloud. I have used it on EKS in AWS and it was pretty straightforward. So all you need to do is to create an EKS cluster with managed node groups and then you can start installing your own Jupyter Hub and this is what you need to do. Okay, so the installation of Jupyter Lab is very simple once you have that Kubernetes and HEM in place. First, you need to make HEM aware of the Jupyter Hub HEM chart repository and it is the familiar HEM commands which you can do with HEM repo add Jupyter Hub and the URL and then simply HEM repo update. Once that's done, you can then install it by using HEM, uh, HEM upgrade command and also make sure that you supply this config.yaml file. The creation is simple, go up a little and this is all you need to do to put it in your YAML file and these are the default values which should work. Now, it, it has pretty well documented instruction as what, what exactly each parameter means which you can read through here and I will drop the link in video's description. Once that's done, you can verify if the pods are running and then set the context and then once everything is ready, then you will get an external IP here and you can access this Jupyter Hub from that external IP. In the future, if you want to put a domain name in front of it, you can also customize it with any DNS, but that's pretty much it. So you can see that all you need to do is to um, run a HEM chart and it will do everything for you. It is as simple as that. Now, you can even try this out on uh, ECS, but the steps are a bit different. I have seen with experience that it is the most easiest on AWS EKS cluster. So that's it. If you're still facing any issues or any problems, please drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.